our youth house uh, when we started had a capacity of 37 and we averaged 96 uh, kids in the, in the youth house and we had uh, <laughs> as many as 130. Uh, so we had, we had a true emergency. Burns Institute uh, uh, became involved with us after we had five years in. So it's been three years that we've been working with the Burns Institute. And initially we had tremendous success in our overall reduction of uh, detention population. Our admissions were down by more than two thirds. With the hard work that we did to bring the overall population down, we still had a disproportionate uh, minority uh, population. That was something that we knew that we couldn't declare success unless we uh, uh, addressed that. We saw the opportunity to work with the Burns Institute as really um, if the, a payoff for us. Normally, you know, uh, we, we think of consultants having technical strategies. Uh, but here, the process is so important because you can't get at the technical until the process enables the group. And the other thing that I would say is that uh, in working with, with Burns and working with, with uh, uh, both Mike and Shaka in particular, uh, it was much, much more about listening than it was about directing. And uh, so that the strategies that were being shaped were being drawn out of the people in Camden. E each place is different, even when cities have similar issues, that they are very different. So tuning to the audience rather than having a boilerplate is, is just something that uh, really is what makes it meaningful, makes it effective.